From the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., this is Rewind. This week on The Kalb Report, the man who accepted the challenge to write Steve Jobs' biography elaborated on the mystery of his subject. But what made him so compelling, so inspiring, so charismatic? And that's what the narrative of the book tries to do. Take a guy who can get kicked out of Apple the first time around because he's too much of a handful to deal with, but in the end become the greatest and most inspiring technology leader of our time. But then is it possible that you were simply taken in by Jobs? Yeah, and that's a problem with writing somebody alive. Jobs had around him what was known as the reality distortion field from Star Trek, <laughs> which meant he could make you believe things that were impossible. The journalist and biographer advised reporters to be storytellers. And I think reporting and storytelling and narrative storytelling is going to be the most important talent in a world in which people bloviating on blogs with opinions um, is out there for free in a zillion different sources will place a premium on things that actually got reported. A winner of the YouTube Space Lab contest described his entry that NASA has chosen to send to the International Space Station. I want to send jumping spiders uh, to space and I want to see uh, the effect of microgravity on the way they hunt. This will be amazing because it means that they can adjust and adapt to the, uh, their hunting way into the zero gravity environment. When we launched Space Lab, our goal was to inspire the next generation of scientists. And I think he's now a role model for so many other students around the world to, uh, to take a greater interest in, in science and space. Atheists, the most statistically hated minority in America, according to a University of Minnesota study, reacted to the discrimination they faced. But I'm supposed to be protected as a so-called religious minority. If my boss says, oh, you're, you woman, how dare you get pregnant and get out? I've got a case. I had a boss who say, how dare you use that blasphemy? More than half of Americans would not vote for an other, otherwise qualified candidate if that candidate was atheist, specifically on that one detail. A Middle East specialist says if the U.S. and the E.U. want a democratic transition to succeed in Tunisia, they have to put their money where their mouth is. The United States and the West and the whole international community have a huge stake in supporting Tunisia's democratic transition in this difficult, uh, uh, difficult time. Car2Go launched its new car sharing program in D.C. from the National Press Building. And uh, Washington was a logical choice. Um, people here uh, use public transit. Car2Go, you can pick up a car in one area of town and end your rental in another area. You're not required to have a reservation. You're not required to tell us how long you're going to use the car. And you're not required to return to the same point you picked it up. So it's truly point-to-point -point, uh, transportation. From Washington, D.C., this is Rewind. I'm Ken Gillio.